Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about love. Okay, a lot of end years, when we pass over and go up to heaven, we experience unconditional love. So what is it and how can we create it on earth in this three-dimensional world where we live as humans? Hmm, let's go there. Today's video has two parts, okay? There's two parts. So the first part that I'm going to talk about is when we're talking about other people, our pets, our family, our friends, our partners, our children, etc. How we love unconditionally someone or something else, okay? So I've got a good website here it's called the huff post huffpost.com and i'm going to put the link below in the description so you can see what i'm talking about okay they actually say there are 16 characteristics of real love so let's go there number one love means saying goodbye to expectations so what this one's actually saying is that when we love somebody else or something else I'll just say someone okay when we love someone else we have no expectations of what or who they are okay now this is a really good one because you know we get these expectations when we meet someone that they're going to be our ideal person Okay, you go on the first date and you think, my God, this guy is everything I want them to be. That right there is an expectation because we are expecting them to be the dream or that goal of what we're trying to accomplish. Okay, so it means saying goodbye to that. Remember that every person on the planet is unique and individual. We all have our life paths and life lessons and it's coming to that conclusion where we accept that person regardless of any self expectations that we may have. Now, a lot of people out there, we have been hurt by past relationships, we've been traumatized, we've been abused, we've been hurt. So it's an expectation that we build that when we're in our next relationship, that that same behavior is going to repeat. So we have this expectation that then we sabotage our future relationships because we're basing the future on what happened in the past. So we let go of that past trauma through that past person. And we say, this person I'm now with is not that same person. So I've got to stop having those expectations that I'm creating in my brain that this person's going to act the same, okay? Number two, love doesn't play the victim or blame others. This is where the word why comes in. I hate the word why and I hate the word hate. So, uh, irks me. Okay, I'm just going to say, it irks me. Okay, the word why. You come home from work, you're tired, and the first thing your partner says is, why didn't you make dinner? Why haven't you taken the bins out? That why is accusing. I have this feeling that you should have taken those bins out at that time, so why haven't you done it? Here's an expectation filled with blame, okay? Love doesn't play the victim, okay? It's, it's saying, I appreciate you. You've come home after a long day at work. Why would I want you to do anything else? I'm going to look after you for a change, okay? So we start appreciating instead of playing the victim or that blame game that so many people do in our relationships, okay? Love includes letting go. Now, this is where we let go of all those expectations. We let go of all that blame and hurt from our past 
and we look at this person for who they truly are and we let go of any external sabotages that we can put on our lives where we say you know what I'm going to try and love you for who you are okay love does not require you to continue a relationship this is number four so sometimes we love somebody and we have to let them go I got this sickly bird one day I found a bird years ago it had a broken wing I actually fed this bird about six times a day and I looked after it and I fluffed its feathers but then it got healthy again and I had to let it go because giving someone or something their freedom of choice freedom of free will is when we love somebody so much that we can let them go friend of mine moved to Cairns 30 hour drive away but it's still in Queensland go figure that just shows you how big Queensland is and she said aren't you upset that I'm going away and I said I love you so much that I am willing to allow you to do what you want and I'm going to appreciate and respect your decisions and at the end of the day it's only geography our relationship hasn't broken up we're still great friends and she's been up there now for nearly a year okay so sometimes love lets us let things go letting go of past hurts letting go of past relationships that have hurt us and we sit here and we psychoanalyze ourselves and we say well what am I going to do now so those behaviors don't repeat what lessons can I learn from my past relationships maybe I was too possessive maybe I was too jealous maybe I didn't go everywhere with him on the flip side of that maybe I should have been more involved with him so when I meet a new partner I'm going to try to be more interested in his sports or other things that he does so we are doing this together okay so there's a flip side you may want more or less okay love includes letting things go number um love doesn't require you to continue a relationship that's number four number five love has no room for jealousy when we're jealous we're actually comparing okay love is um jealousy is when we compare ourselves oh, i'm so jealous of that girl she's got beautiful hair i wish mine was like that so now i'm comparing my hair to someone else's so when we're in a relationship where we love somebody whether it's a relationship with our pets family children uncles aunties cousins or even co-workers that we can have a um, relationship with we look at that other person and say I allow you to be who you are for I am different to you I am unique and special in my own way this is how we build confidence okay number six love is the absence of fear now you look at my life I've been married twice and I've been engaged all my relationships have broken up because I'm now single right I've been single now for eight years okay but there's no fear within me that if I find someone we're gonna broke up break up like all the others because I'm not putting that onus of um, expectation on what the next relationship might be like okay so love is the absence of fear so if you're in a relationship with someone and you think oh my god I'm so scared is he gonna to go to work tomorrow and not come home um, is he is he going to go and have an affair is he going to go and do this is he going to hit me they're all fears okay so if you've got no evidence to support these fears shut them down and say you know what I'm self-sabotaging this relationship I'm gonna cut this off right now and say I don't want those thoughts okay so take away the fear and just allow what comes and if you do end up getting hurt etc at the end of the day look at it as a learning curve 
what can I do better next time type thing okay number seven love is not needing it's wanting now I actually wrote about this in my book heal to success a need is actually negative a wanting things is a positive I'm going to say two lines they're the same thing but you'll see the difference I need oxygen or else I can't breathe and I'm going to die that's a need because what I've just made it there is an ultimatum I'll say that line again if I don't get air to breathe I'm going to die so this is like there's going to be a consequence if I don't get this I'm doing that so that's a need I need oxygen but if we turn it into a want which is then the same sentence but just reworded let's say see how this one sounds I want air to sustain my life how positive is that okay so think about how you say things in your lives guys do you make things an accusation do you make them an ultimatum if the word if now I've got a video in there about the um, in my video list it says I don't about the word if I don't personally like the word if because if you do that this will happen it's an ultimatum and when we put ultimatums on people it's actually diminishing who they are and it's making us superior to them so we're no longer equal and it's also a form of control so think about that one guys okay okay love is an action not just a feeling okay so what do we mean by actions love how do we physically show someone we love them it's not just the sex word okay I'm too sexy for my pants type thing right this is where we go deeper and we show the other person through physical acts we do come home when we tell them that we will because that's showing respect okay we show them that we're interested in what they're doing so that shows appreciation then we show the person how much we trust them okay trust it's a big one in love okay so love is unconditional number nine on this list the word unconditional means that there are no expectations or limitations set so getting back to number one we take away all those expectations and we allow the other person you know here's a scenario okay your partner goes to work they say they're usually home at about 5 30 at night right so they come home at seven what have you done for that hour and a half where you haven't heard from them do you get feelings of fear oh my god were they in a car accident should i ring the hospitals two are they having an affair i don't trust them three my god he doesn't love me as much as he thought because if if he really cared about me he would have at least texted me right so we go through all these scenarios in our head but ultimately until we hear what actually happened from the other person we don't know so stop fabricating things in your own head stop making up scenarios that simply do not exist okay so there you go so when we just look and we say okay if that person really trusted me and they were really caring about me they loved me he would have texted me so that is something you can take up with him but don't make it that accusation of why didn't you ring you turn it around and say you know what I just want you to know how I feel you know I was worried that you were home late tonight I hope you had a good time I don't need to know where you were because that's again another expectation I don't need to know where you were but as long as you're okay that's all I care about because I care about you okay 
It's letting the other person have free will and free decisions. Okay? Okay. Number 10, love means putting other people's needs equal to or before your own. Okay? Now, this is where I'm watching it in the um, Aquaman Starlet's testimony in court. JD is on an island going through detox. Amber was there. And all she's doing is making it all about her. Oh my gosh. Why are you vomiting through your detox? I want to go out swimming today. Oh my God. She's she's so selfish. And then, you know, we hear that um, JD lost $650 million. Ironically, on the same day she was having her birthday. She turned it into this huge fight. Because she wanted her birthday party to go ahead. Birthdays are just another day at the end of the day. But $650 million, I know how I would be feeling. Do you think I'd want to go to my wife's birthday party? Uh Uh-uh. Do you think I want to go and talk to anybody? Uh Uh-uh. Even the most sane and rational person on the planet wouldn't want to do that. And she just started this whole commotion because of her own selfish needs. So in love, we sometimes have to think, I've got all this to do today, but I'm going to sacrifice that and do something for the other person. Okay? You put other people's needs above our own when it's necessary. Okay? Number 11, love is the highest vibrational emotion that there is. It's the emotion of heaven. I was there for about five years. I know how great this feeling is. So every time you get angry, jealous, spiteful, blaming others and expectations going out your ears of all these things that you want to try and control, let it all go. Because those are all lower vibrations where you know, we raise ourselves up in our vibration and love is the strongest one of all, okay? Love requires attention, of course. Why do you think so many relationships fail? Because we fall in love with somebody, but then after two months it's just, oh yeah. So you've got to keep working on love you've got to keep working on these relationships okay you've got to keep working if when you started to go out with someone you're always going down to the beach and then oh yeah you know you got married you have got jobs you started a mortgage so you don't go to the beach anymore per se as an example start going to the beach regardless sacrifice some other stuff instead of having lobster dinner once a week say hey let's use that money so we can afford to go to the beach this weekend like we used to when we were in love okay you know i always say date nights create a night where you just sit there and tell the other person and you start the sentences with you know why i appreciate you because Do you know why I respect you? Because. Do you know why I care about you? Because. Do you know why I trust you? Because. Because all those words add up to love. Okay? So, number 13. Love understands and accepts differences. So, again, we're all separate individuals. We're not connected to the hip. How many times in a relationship does somebody say, oh, I'm going out, you've got to come with me? Or the other thing, oh, you go the other side. Oh, you're going, I've got to come too. Because you're always connected at their hips. Let that other person fly. Like that bird I was saying about before. Let that other person fly. Let them grow their wings and be this, ah, oh, of beauty. Because then you can admire it. Then you respect it. Then you trust it. And the fact that you're with them is making it a love moment, okay? Number 13. Oh, yeah, understands and accepts differences. Number 14. Love varies in how it is expressed and accepted. It's just like any mood, okay? All right? 
Some days we feel all loved up. Other days we feel, oh God, I'm so alone today. But just remember, there are our own moods. And it's when we communicate with our partners and we say, you know what, I'm just having a low moment today. I just feel like being alone. Respect that partner and say, where do you want to go to have your private time? What can I do for you today? Okay, those sort of things. Okay, so 15 is love makes you feel good, not bad. If you're in a relationship and you don't feel good about yourselves, get damn, I know what I'd be saying. Walk on by. Get out of there. Or sit down and communicate with this other person and say, look, things have got to change. I feel lousy when I'm with you. Okay, I wish to stay because I admire this. I respect that. I trust you for this. I care about you for that. But at the end of the day, if you're not going to start showing that back to me, then I can't be with you. Okay, and it's all right to be honest because that's what love is. Love is honesty. Love is identifying within ourselves our true self-worth. Okay, number 16 is love has empathy. So this is where we put ourselves into the other person's shoes and we say, you know what, I know what you feel like. You're coming home. You're bloody tired. You're hungry. So what can I do to fix that? Oh, I know. You go and have a shower so you can go to bed early and I'll start dinner so then you can relax because you're so tired today. Okay? Stop making it always about us. Why haven't you taken the bins out? Why haven't you made dinner yet? Okay? Allow the other person to have their privileges as well. Stop being selfish. Okay? All right. So I'm going to put that link. It's from HuffPost.com. I'm going to put the link down in below. Okay, so I've got some other stuff here in, because we're still in part one, right? Robert J. Sternberg, he says, love is respect, admiration and care. That's the three main commodities that he puts into his works, okay? Robert J. Sternberg is his. I'll put his link in the bottom as well. So respect. How do we get respect? It starts with integrity where we know what we're doing. And we trust ourselves. Respect. Okay. Admiration. We always find someone who we're proud of. Even if, you know, I don't like comparing job positions. Okay. You got the highest worker up here, highest paid worker. You got the lowest salary down here. Why would you respect that person? Well, let's just go there. They're obviously going to work every day. They're paying their bills. They're feeding themselves. They're looking after wherever they live. That's worthy of being proud and respected. Yes. Okay. So we can always respect anybody. Okay. Admiration is when we look at somebody and we get that pride. My God, I like that you just picked up that piece of rubbish and put it in the bin. That could be how tiny it is, okay? Then we look at care, okay? Self-care, yes, but at the end of the day, how much do we care about the other person, okay? Um, Robert J. Sternberg also mentions never subject subjecting the other to harm, hurt, or abuse, okay? There is never a good time to scream, I have had this rule in my house for seven years. There is absolutely zero raising of voices in my house because that brings out anger and it brings out frustrations and nobody talks logically when we're angry. So you walk away and we talk about things calmly and rationally. Okay? So... I have a screaming policy in my house. Never scream. Okay. The other rule I have in my house is the word pineapples. My daughter and I, if she gets frustrated, impatient, angry, whatever, she says, mum, pineapples. Instantly, that is me recognizing that she's going through something and she needs a time out. Okay. 
Instead of her sitting there going, Aah! like a typical 15-year-old, hello, she says, Mum, pineapples. And I say, okay, go to your room. I'll come in in 10 minutes and check on you. That's me showing her respect. It's her showing me respect. It's me trusting that she's got something to sort out. So hopefully she's sorting it out for herself. And also it's her trusting me that we're going to get this through this rationally and calmly without having a screaming fest like so many other people do. Okay. All right. So there are my two quotes because I'm still in part one here. Now, I want to go over to my text because, hello, I make notes everywhere. And yesterday I was out. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't need to tell you where I went. But I sent myself a couple of texts. So I'm just going into my text. Okay. So. Uh, first, okay, I've got a few here. How to love somebody. Okay. First thing I wrote, because here's my text. So it comes back to me, right? I write it and it comes back to me, right? Here's my text messages. Okay. Okay. How to love someone. We have to look into our past and look at why we do not want to love. Trusting others now based on the actions and words of people in our past. We prevent future happiness as a shutdown mechanism to protect us from being hurt again. Okay. So that's a big one. That's just expectations. That's that's um, comparing, okay? So stop comparing what is happening now in your life to what happened then, okay? The next thing I, tell, I said to myself, do I tell people I love them? Absolutely. If you know me personally, if we've had readings or I've spoken to you on the phone, you will know. I say I love you to everybody I know even my worst enemies stalker hello if you're watching I tell them all I love them why because it shows that I'm giving them respect it shows that I trust them and it most of all shows that I'm giving that dignity and integrity that comes with appreciation which are all attributes that make love I always look for the best in everything okay okay so let's get there to part two you ready because this is the doozy if you're still watching part two now this video is called how to love someone but are you aware that we can never love someone else unless we love ourselves first so part two of this is how do we love us what a doozy so let's start with integrity integrity is when we fess up own up take ownership of all our faults all our wishes and we identify every flaw about us okay i'm open with mine I've been married twice, I've been, um, I've been divorced twice, I've been engaged, I've had two children, okay, hello, hello, a lot of you won't know that about me, but I own up to it, okay, I've had two children, my daughter that I've got now is 15, okay, so we own up to everything, I've had a lot of injuries in my life, okay, I've had a brain tumour, broken neck, I've had internal surgery, 216 internal st stitches in my stomach okay i've broken le um, feet i've got sore hands because i've had so many cannulas in my arms over the years so you own up to all your physical faults i'm missing a tooth okay um i should get my roots done but i think i'm just going to grow my hair out okay i think that's what i'm doing I'm just going to grow my hair out and just go back to natural so we've owned up to all our physical things then we own up to all our mental and emotional things. What sort of person am I normally? Am I a happy person? Am I a sad person? Am I an angry person? So you go through all your emotions and you work all those out. And you write them down. So at any given time of the day, you just make a mental note. What's my mood today? <sighs> I'm feeling pretty anxious. Okay, so then we can identify it. And you say, why? What's going on that's making you feel anxious? Okay, 
I'm sad today. Okay, what's making you feel sad? Okay, so you go through all that emotion as well as physical and you work out who you are. Okay, I, I said to somebody a couple of weeks ago, I said, um, there's this guy I know, he's a prolific shoplifter. He shoplifts every time he goes into the shops. He's been caught a few times, yes, but he's not going to change his behavior because his integrity, he knows he what he is. He knows what he is. He knows that he can change that behavior at any time if he wants to, okay, if he wants to because it's all free will, okay, but he owns up to it and he says freely, Oh, yeah, I was down at the shop the other day, and while I was there getting this and that and that, oh, I put this into my pocket. How do you think it makes me feel? One, I'm not respecting him because he's taken from others, okay? But at the end of the day, I've got to allow him to be who he is. No expectations, okay? So guess what I say to him? Oh, I love you. I love your honesty. Ha, huh, see? I love your honesty because I'm putting it into that perspective where we don't take sides like I mentioned before okay so how do we love ourselves we get our integrity we find out who the hell we are then we find out our own true worth now if you write a check for yourself and you had to buy yourself how many zeros are on that check because it could be 15 38 zeros after that nine okay my check goes it's infinitive because at the end of the zeros it's dot 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 because it's just infinity the amount of zeros on my check of how much I put value on my own life okay so if you sit there and you say oh yeah my wife my life you know my house is only worth this my car's worth that so I've got this many clothes that add up to this value don't do it in mental or physical material value put it on how much value you have by smiling at a stranger how much value do you give yourself for making someone else feel good okay that is how we get our self-worth okay self-worth and self-value how do we get our own self-respect well that's where we are proud of ourselves for what we do if you're not proud of yourself for what you do change is the simplest solution okay it could be hard because we're so in in built with our routines and habits okay but just remember money is but kiss at the end of the day if we truly want to change who we are on the inside it takes zero dollars to do it and if you do want to be a nicer person it could be all you have to do is go out your front door and wait for someone to walk in front of you across the street and just say how are you today if you see rubbish in the gutter pick it up put it in a bin show respect okay so there's all these building ways to make us love someone as well as ourselves because at the end of the day we cannot love someone else until we love ourselves and the beauty of this is once we identify that we want to work on ourselves build our own self-worth self self-appreciation self self-respect etc self-confidence and self-ego once we identify that be honest with your partner just say to them something like you know what I've realized I want to be a better person help me get through this because we care when we love somebody yes okay so I hope that that's given you some insights today okay please know I'll put these links that I found um, Robert J Sternberg as well as HuffPost the links are below if you want to go and read them okay because I always give credit where it's due okay and I don't um, plagiarize without quoting so if you've got any comments or you've got any videos that you want me to help you with please email me my email is below okay or comment on this video and we'll see how we go from here because love at the moment guys the world is in desperate need of it I cannot state this enough the world needs us to start 
realizing the love within us just like I had in heaven when I went there okay there are so many negative energies around this planet now really trying to pull us down and the only way out of that hell because <laughs> I've got a video there about hell right if you click on my videos the only way to get out of those negative emotions is by loving others and the only way that we could ever do that is to love ourselves first. Have a good day, guys. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.